in 1963, a humble home in a rural district of Arigidi, Ondo State, Nigeria, became the scene of an incredible miracle. A child had finally been born after 15 months in his mother's womb. However, anything close to Jesus receives attack. The devil attempted to snatch away this young life just days later. But what the devil meant for evil, God meant for good. Moving through the compound, we arrive at the small house in which Prophet T.B. Joshua was raised and spent his childhood days. A closer inspection of the roof reveals a noticeably large hole. What could possibly have happened to create such damage? Peering through the hole, a jagged stone can be seen lying on the floor of this modest home. This is the small room in which Prophet T.B. Joshua grew up with his family. This is a house with a remarkable story to tell. Let someone who was there that day tell you the story and unravel the mystery. Hallelujah, 
My wife don't need a good look or love. A paradise, 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 a Now I want to begin to show you some records. Let me start from my, my birth. The record I'm about to show you is not saying I have arrived, but to encourage the weak and those without fast leg, those without human help, that there are hope, Jesus is the hope. Amen. I stayed in my mother's womb for 15 months. At nine months, my mother was moving from one medical center to another because he was having labor. From nine months, my mother began labor. And she was moving from one medical center, hospital, to another hospital, until she was carried to a place called Egbe Medical Center, Egbe. And that Egbe, at that time, seems to be the best hospital in Nigeria if not one of the best. Go to the record. So let's see the picture of the hospital. Finally, my mommy delivered me. delivered and I was about to be named seven days naming ceremony arrangement was made many guests many people were turning up they want to see a child spending 15 months in her mommy you can imagine the number of people that were present in our village there's so much rock that need to be blasted before getting water. It be became a habit every day they have to blast to get water from the ground. At the opposite of the house I was about to be named, there was a company that was blasting rock for water, and suddenly, a very big stone. You cannot imagine, the stone is here with me. Big stone flew from opposite direction straight to the, the same humble home and landed on a sat net I was lying. And what happened? No one know how the baby Joshua moved from the net to the other side of it. And what happened to the mother? The mother fainted and went to coma. And she was carried to the hospital. The guests and the people waiting for ceremony, what happened? We are here to see 15 months, baby that was delivered. Now, this is what happened. The baby saved out of sheer wonder and surprise. They started voicing different names. Timmy Tokwe, Tokwe, Timmy Dere, Timmy Lolua, Timmy Dayo, Timmy this, Timmy that, Timmy that. Different name. And I decided to choose 
top where? The middle part of that name. The stone you find when they were blasting rock. This is. This is Stone. This is TB Joshua. Thank you. I'm older than Stone by seven days. Because he came out seven days when I was about to be named. So the Stone must be 50. <laughs> Thank you. Like I have said, we are not showing you this because we are saying we have arrived. But it's an encouragement to the weak. To those without fast leg, those without human hair, underprivileged, that there is hope and Jesus is the hope. So uh, we we'll, we'll begin to show you now from where the ministry started from Little, Little and the name Synagogue, Church of All Nations, the foundation of the church. We we'll show you now, you see. All this is not a acting, it's real. It's a real record.